morning students today we are going to discuss about the rectifiers so this is the one of the main important application of the semiconductor diode in this class we try to discuss about the different types of rectifiers how the rectifiers are working we try to discuss in this class so what is the rectifier 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 is the circuit that converts a ac to dc the following two types of circuits can be used for the rectification they are half wave rectifier and full wave rectifier so generally where we are use this type of rectifiers the rectifier rectifier is a device which converts ac voltage into pulsating dc voltage using one or more pn junction diodes is called as a rectifier we can say that simply we can say that we can simply can say that uh, uh, a device which converts ac to ac into pulsating dc voltage using the one or more pn junction diodes the rectifier is the heart of dc power supply the process of converting ac into dc is called as rectification the output of the rectifier is not pure dc it its output is called pulsating dc and it contains both dc component and ac component that is called as a part of the ac so this is called as a rectifier so generally this rectifiers are this rectifiers are used in converting ac into the dc the main application this is used in the charges battery charges so wherever the dc device is use the ac power we use the rectifier so depending on the number of diodes we are using and uh, depending upon the number of cycles we are converting so we divide it in the two types of rectifiers generally we may have another so many types of classifications are there so now we have in the two classification half wave rectifier and full wave rectifier what is the meaning of half wave rectifier so meaning of half wave rectifier is the ac having the two cycles positive cycle and negative cycle continuously continuously uh, they will repeats with the frequency of 50 hertz frequency this is a normal power supply frequency so what we are going to do is we are we try to converting the this ac into the dc in that if you convert the one cycle one cycle into the uni unidirectional uh, supply so that is called as a half wave rectifier if both the uh cycles positive cycle and negative cycle is converted into a, a a unidirectional wave so that is called as a full wave rectifier so now we try to discuss about the half wave rectifier so what is the half wave rectifier the process of removing the process of removing one of the input signal to establish a dc level is called a half wave rectification the meaning is the process of removing one half the input signal to the establish a, a dc level is called the half wave rectification in half wave rectification the rectifier conducts current during positive half cycle of input as ac signal only the meaning is in the negative half cycle he is suppressed or clipped the negative half cycle is suppressed or clipped by see the wave from the by see the uh, rectifier circuit you can see so in the circuit we having the ac supply that is the main supply you can take that 230 volts ac power supply and we having the transformer is there transformer we having the 
AC power AC supply is there and we having the transformer secondary winding is there we are taking the V in from the transformer we are step down transformer we are taking so and we are applying you to the in this uh, half wave rectifier we having a uh, one diode is there so one diode is there and the RL we having the load we having the load you can see that load is there you can see that in the diagram how it is supply very simple AC supply and we having the transformer uh, and we having the input we are taking from the input so why we are using the transformer means we can step up and step down the supplied voltage so in order to diode is a small device we try to step down the voltage and next one you can see the load voltage is there from the load resistance we are taking the uh, dc voltage uniform voltage we are using the single diode so whenever we see in the input whenever we apply the input signal that is a ac supply what happens it having the two cycle positive cycle and negative cycle so diode diode you can say that diode is a semiconductor device it having the property of it is a unipolar device that is whenever we connect the diode in the forward bios then only it will conduct the current if you connect in the reverse bias the diode will be off so that's why here we having the two positive voltages and negative cycle is there when the positive cycle is approaches the diode diode will become on when the diode is on diode is act as a short circuit so the whatever whatever the amount is there the amount of voltage is uh, passed to the load resistance and that voltage is taken from the load as shown in the figure that is a positive half cycle whenever negative half cycle is applied whenever negative half, half cycle is reaches to the uh, junction diode what happens the diode will becomes the reverse bias and diode whenever diode is reverse bias it is open circuit whenever the open circuit is the load current is zero ultimately the load voltage is zero as shown in the figure like that what happened means when the if, if we apply the ac supply to the half wave rectifier so what we are getting is only one positive cycle one positive half cycle we are getting that is called as a that is called as a um, the positive half cycle or a clipped negative clipped cycle we can say that like that what we are doing is the two cycles in the half of the cycle only we are converting into the a single waveform so so what is the meaning you can see the half wave rectifier ac voltage across secondary terminals ab changes its polarity after each half cycle as, as already mentioned the ac voltage across the secondary terminals of the of the transformer ab changes its polarity that is a positive half cycle and negative cycle uh, after each half cycle so during the negative half cycle terminal a is negative during the negative half cycle terminal a is the negative so diode re reversed biased and conduct no current so current flows to the diode during the positive half cycle only pa positive half cycle only so the meaning is during the negative half cycle terminal a is negative so diode reverse biased and conduct no current so current flows through diode during half cycle only in this way current flows to the load rl in one direction flows to the in one direction so this is the half wave rectifier operation we see the waveform how the waveform is there so a b terminal the uh, uh, every half cycle the uh, terminal of the a will be changes when the positive diode will be on when the negative diode will be off so what are the disadvantages in the half wave rectifier so whether it achieves our required uh, uh, output we are getting from this half wave rectifier 
so the half wave rectifier having the disadvantage of half wave rectifier is since power is delivered only during one half cycle what happening here only we utilizing the one half cycle since power is delivered only during one half of the cycle of the input alternating voltage therefore its power output and rectification frequency is low therefore what happens if you use the only one cycle the produced output and the rectification frequency is low and transformer utilization utilization factor is also low why because transformer utilization means we need to utilize both the cycle but we are only using one cycle so transformer utilization factor is also low the dc the dc output power produced from the half wave rectifier is not satisfactory to make a general power supply so to in order to manufacture a, a general power supply so this half wave rectifier is not uh, not satisfying our requirement required needs so this is the disadvantage of the half wave rectifier so simply you can say what are the advantages means that is a very simple circuit we are using only single diode so the uh, main disadvantage is we are not total utilizing the total cycle power only utilizing the half cycle power in order to avoid this we are going for the another one that is called as a full wave rectifier full wave rectifier so before that we have something uh, how to output frequency how we is there half wave rectifier equals to the input frequency generally you know this means when the input ac completes one cycle rectified wave also completes one cycle so this is half wave rectifier frequency how it is so then we have go for the full wave rectifier so in the full wave rectifier we have in the two types of rectifier is there one is the center tap rectifier the second one is the bridge rectifier is there center tap rectifier means in the center tap rectifier we are using the center tap transformer and two diodes we are using second one is the bridge rectifier in the bridge rectifier we are using the normal transformer and we use the four diodes like the bridge so that's why it is called as a bridge rectifier now we try to discuss about the center tapped transformer full wave rectifier in full wave rectification what happens in full wave rectification what happen means the negative half cycle also converted into the positive half cycle the meaning is what we are doing is negative half cycle also converted it into hmm, positive half cycle so that what we are doing is with what we are doing is we are taking the total uh, full input cycle into the positive cycle or unidirectional waveform in full wave rectification current flow through the load in same direction for both half cycle of the input ac what happens the current flow through the load in same direction for both half cycle of input ac this can be achieved with two diodes working alternatively this what we is the meaning is both the cycles whenever we use the both cycles both cycle current should be passed through the diode so for this purpose we use the two diodes so for a one half cycle one diode supplies the current to the load and for next half cycle current is supplied to the another diode you can see the a center tap transformer we having the full wave is there the full wave positive and negative is there so what we are doing is first diode it will act as a half wave rectifier next second diode is converted into the positive into negative into positive so this is the diagram what we having the input uh, uh, ac input source and we having the two diodes connected like this the center tap one is there and load is make it like this this is called as a center tap transformer full wave rectifier full wave rectifier so what is the working operation means you can see 
at the positive half cycle the first one is the a you can call it as a a beam for the first half cycle a is the positive and b is the negative so what happens first diode will be on the current passing through the load for the next half cycle what happens is first cycle is the negative second diode is a positive so second diode is on and the first diode is off so that what happens in the two in the two cycles the current is flows in the same direction so that's why it is called a full wave rectifier you can see output frequency of full wave rectifier is equal to double of input frequency this means when the input ac completes one cycle rectified waveform waveform completes the two cycles output is the two times of the input frequency you can see so this is the tenth type of wave rectifier now we try to see the working already we see so how it is working so diode 1 and diode 2 is the center tapped full wave rectifier you can see diode 1 now how it is working and how it is uh, uh, getting the current through the load 1 you can see the a and b supply given a b diode 1 and diode 2 is there now we try to discuss about the working circuit has two diodes d1 and d2 and a center tap transformer so what is the purpose of the center tap transformer the center tap transformer will produce the same waves a to b we have in the middle is the zero a to zero one positive cycle zero to b zero to b same way with negative cycle if a to zero is the negative cycle zero to b we having the positive cycle like that it will always produce the two two waveforms at the center that's why it is called a center tapped transformer center tapped full wave rectifier so the circuit has two diodes d1 d2 and a center tap transformer during positive half cycle diode d1 conducts during positive half cycle what happens a will be positive and b will be negative a positive means d1 on b negative means d2 off so d2 is zero from the current a it will passes that is the d1 will be on during the negative half cycle diode d2 conducts if the negative half cycle we may say that negative means it may make the negative into positive no negative means a is the negative b is the positive so b will be the positive so d2 will be on the same direction the current will be close to the load so the, during the negative half cycle diode d2 d2 conducts it can be seen that current through load rl is in the same direction for both cycle for the positive one direction same direction and the negative also same direction if you see the output we may have in the full uniformed unidirectional ac supply is converted into the single dc supply so full wave this is the uh, center tap full wave rectifier so like this we are getting one so here some of the disadvantage of center tapped full wave rectifier is full wave rectifier is the center tapped transformer having the high cost high cost is there and we may having some of the disadvantages are there in order to overcome this disadvantages we go for the we go for the bridge rectifier so bridge rectifier you can see the bridge rectifier of it is full wave bridge rectifier you can see the diagram the full wave bridge rectifier the diagram you can see the uh, diagram it is we having the four diodes like this you can draw this diagram the four diodes we having we use the normal transformer diode 1 diode 2 diode 3 diode 4 and the connection is a to b b to c c to d d to a a b c d a we having like this uh, so what happens in the past half cycle what happens 
the negative half circle what happens we try to see so what we are try to make is we try to make the direction will be changes the load the current passing through the load current is same current through the load is same so that is achieved by using this four diodes of the bridge rectifier you can see four rectifier of the diode diode 1 diode 2 diode 3 consist of four diodes instead of two we have in the the full wave bridge rectifier you can see what happens during the first half cycle d1 and d3 are conducting you can see the first half cycle the first half cycle positive is come to this one and next uh, negative is come to d3 negative side the positive connected to the d1 positive side d3 connected to the negative negative side so d1 d3 are on so the how current flows through the here place to d1 d1 to load load to d3 and d3 to negative so like this we are getting the closed path so the first positive half cycle is going to the load the first at the first half cycle what happened d1 d3 are conducting next coming to the second cycle while d2 and d4 are either are in the off state or in the half state you can say that is a d2 and d4 are half state next coming to the next cycle during the second half cycle d2 and d4 are conducting while d1 and d3 are in the half state how we can see so that is the supply is the negative negative terminal is connected to the d4 negative and positive terminal is connected to the d2 positive so that we can get the supply like this the positive terminal to the d2 and d2 to the load and load to d4 and d4 to the negative terminal of the supply like the same same current same direction current is passing through the load so that what happens is at the positive cycle and the negative cycle we are getting the output here so this is called as a a uh, full wave bridge rectifier so now we try to discuss the full wave bridge rectifier advantages and disadvantages so what are the advantages is need for center tap transformer is eliminated so in the center tap we having the uh, center tap transformer is must but we eliminate this center tap transformer so in the full wave bridge rectifier output is twice than that of center tap circuit so whatever the output we are getting through the center tap we will get the twice of the center tap the disadvantages are the full wave bridge rectifier requires you know that what it need that uh, four diodes needed internal resistance voltage drop is twice than that of the center tap circuit why because already four resist four diodes are there so if the diodes increases automatically we may get the this type of uh, disadvantages is there once again we try to discuss about uh, overview of the rectifiers we already discussed about the half wave rectifier and full wave rectifier in the full wave rectifiers we discussed about the center tap rectifier and the bridge rectifier we try to discuss overview of these rectifiers and we try to discuss about the filters of the rectifier so already you know that the half wave rectifier is a circuit which converts an ac voltage to the dc voltage you can see the half wave circuit we can see so oh, already we know that uh, we discussed about the m1 so what is a rectifier so rectifier is a circuit which converts ac to dc what is a half wave rectifier half wave rectifier is a circuit which converts either positive half cycle or negative half cycle of ac to dc 
shall we call this output as a perfect dc no this output called as a pulsating dc so another one what is the ripple the presence of ac component in the output is called the ripple factor ripple factor so now we discuss one question what is the need for full wave rectifier already we discussed the need of the full wave rectifier is to get more dc output to get continuity output current and more efficiency low ripple factor we need the full wave rectifier already you know this is a center tapped full wave rectifier we discussed center tapped full wave rectifier so in the operation also we discussed you can see once again during the past two half cycle what happens so we having the d1 and d2 is there d1 is conducts and d2 is open circuit uh, like this you can see the diagram how it is uh, so like this uh, d1 is conducting and d2 is half already we discussed once again we repeat during the past two half cycle current flows through the d1 low resistance rl and half of the secondary winding the current direction is as shown so next uh, the voltage uh, set uh, point a and b on the transformer are changing in opposite direction when a is increasing in positive direction b is increasing negatively during the first half cycle a is positive and b is negative d1 has positive on its anode and negative on its cathode hence d1 is forward biased so already we discussed current flow around the circuit from my d1 diode to the load and the transformer winding as shown in figure so if you combine both we get the like this d1 and d2 during the negative half cycle we get the d2 conducts and d1 is open circuited during the negative half cycle current flows through the d2 load resistor rl and half of the secondary winding current direction is as shown in figure so what we are getting is dt is moving during the next half cycle b is negative and c is positive so d2 has positive on its anode and negative on its cathode d2 forward bias current flowing through them this is a combining this we will get the output the first half cycle first d1 diode d2 diode and the full wave rectifier we already discussed this one so advantages also we discussed more dc output continuity output current more efficiency role if it factor the disadvantage of center tap is uh, uh, center tap transformer is required uh, peak inverse voltage is double that of half wave rectifier bulky and more costly so that's why you go for the this one bridge rectifier a full bridge full wave rectifier constituted in the form of a bridge is called as a bridge rectifier so what is the need of a bridge rectifier means uh, no current no center tap transformer is required smaller in size low cost low piv transformer is optional so that's why we go for the this bridge rectifier already see the bridge rectifier circuit d1 d2 d3 d4 d1 d2 is a one cycle d2 d3 d4 is a another cycle so d1 d2 in the first uh, first work cycle d1 d2 is on already we seen but once again you can see the operation the next uh, cycle we having the d3 d4 is on we having the combining both we get the full wave like this we having full wave rectifier so now we try to compare the center tapped full wave rectifier and the bridge full wave rectifier center tapped full wave rectifier bridge full wave rectifier so what we have in the center tapped full wave rectifier is number of diodes are two but in the bridge rectifier we having the number of diodes are four the peak inverse voltage is in the for center tapped is 2 vm 
but in the bridge rectifier we are having the 1 vm bigger secondary of transformer is required secondary of transformer requires half windings for the same voltage so the meaning is center tab having the full winding is required but in the bridge rectifier we need the half windings for that same voltage this is preferred for low voltage and high current and this is also used for low voltage and high current circuits so these are the for two rectifiers full rectifiers now we try to discuss about the what is the difference between ac and dc so ac and dc difference is then ac amplitude and phase will be change with time in dc amplitude and phase will not change with the time that is called as a dc this is some of the questions to try to understand rms and maximum value of the sine wave rms value is the maximum value by rho 2 gives the rms value average value average value of the sine wave is zero so what is the relation between the average value and the maximum value in a half wave rectifier average value is equal to maximum value by pi so ripple factor ripple factor is a measure of purity of the dc output of a rectifier the ripple factor is given by gamma rms value of the wave by average value ripple factor gives the rms value by average value ripple is nothing but the ac content present in the dc output rectifier that is a conversion of efficiency of a rectifier circuit is dc power delivered to the load by ac input power dc power delivered to the load by ac input power this is called as the efficiency of a rectifier so now we try to discuss about the calculation of rms value of the full wave rectifier so in the same way when you also calculate the half wave rectifier you can see irms value is uh, uh, for that what we are taking is the irms value maximum value and average value so what we are getting is the rms value of the full wave rectifier is i m by rho 2 you can see i m by rho 2 the substitution is the i r m s equals to under root of uh, uh, 1 by pi 0 to pi i square d omega t so 0 to pi we are taking so this is a full wave rectifier so it not go for the 2 pi 0 to pi if you substitute we can get the i m by root 2 so average value of the full wave rectifier is also i d c equals to 1 by 5 0 to pi i l d omega t so we are taking the 0 to pi only not 0 to 2 pi so the average value of the full wave rectifier is 2 i m by pi so ripple factor is i r m s i d square minus 1 so ripple factor is 0 0.482 efficiency of the full wave rectifier is dc output power by ac input power dc output power by ac input power so that is uh, nothing but 2 i m square by pi divided by rl you can see efficiency of the full wave rectifier is given by 81.2 percent is dc output power by AC input power to I m square by pi. So if you substitute there, you can get the 81.2 percentage. So now we are going to discuss about the improvement of the rectification. How we can improve this one by using the filters. The thing is the output of the pure rectifier is the pulsating dc now we try to discuss about the filters so filter the the filter is the circuit which is used for the removal of the ac component in the pulsating dc 
So different types of filters are there. We having the capacitive filter, inductor filter, inductor filter, LC filter, CLC filter. Try to discuss about the capacitor filter. Before going to the filter, why we need the filter? So what is the need of the filter? We want to try to discuss. So why we need the filter means the output of a rectifier consists of a DC component and AC component. So the AC component is also known as a ripple factor. This AC component is undesirable and must be kept away from the load. So for that purpose, a filter circuit is used to remove the AC component of a rectifier output and to allow the DC component to reach the load. So the filter circuit should be connected between the rectifier and the load. A filter circuit is generally a combination of inductor, capacitor or it may be is the combination of inductor and capacitor depending on our ripple fact ripples which are present in the circuit so now we are going to discuss about the capacitor filter you can see so in the half wave rectifier how they connected like this we connected the half wave rectifier uh, before the load we use the capacitor the capacitor filter is connected in shunt to the load during the conduction of the diode the capacitor charges to its maximum value of the input voltage keeps the voltage at the maximum keeps at the voltage at the maximum so before going to in detail we know that capacitor property is capacitor will store the energy so will it will stores the energy or we can say that capacitor allows the ac component uh, a capacitor uh, allows the AC component blocks the uh, DC component blocks the DC component so that we use this one so the AC whatever the AC ripples are there there will be goes to the ground ground path you can see how it is working so when when if input at uh, AB is less than its maximum or peak value so the voltage across the capacitor most path to it keeps the diode in reverse bias that is even the input voltage during the remaining positive half cycle input the output appears as shown in the figure so like that we eliminate this uh, negative uh, dropping uh, portion of the positive cycle the diode state in reverse bias condition continues till the anode voltage is more positive than the cap than the cathode after point f Capacitor discharges through the load until the diode comes into the conduction depending on its time constant. If a load is not connected, the capacitor holds the charge for a long time. In general, high value of the resistance is connected across the output terminal provide a path for discharging. So this is the important uh, of the capacitor. The important features of the capacitor filter is the fixed value filter capacitance larger the load resistance larger will be the discharge time constants lower ripple and more output voltage lower the load resistance lower be the time constants more ripple and low output voltage if the capacitance value is larger it holds more charge discharges less average value is increases if we use the smaller the capacitance is less charge it can hold ripples ripple is more dc level is decreases larger the capacitance value requires larger current and this current is limited by maximum forward current of the diode now we can see Without capacitor filter, current flows only for half cycle through the load. Using capacitor filter, color current flows through the load continuously when the proper time constant is chosen for discharging. 
so same way we can also see the full wave rectifier already you know the full wave rectifier so in this circuit we connect the capacitor at the full wave rectifier as shown is here when capacitor is connected across the load the output waveform is different the output waveform appears as shown the amount of the variation is reduced and the average value is increased so now we can see full wave rectifier the next filter is the inductor filter you can see the capacitor filter always connected in shunt the inductor connect connected in series so inductor will allows the dc component and blocks the ac component generally the rectifier output of the full wave rectifier appears as input to the inductor filter the reactance of the inductance reduces the amplitude of applied ripple voltage you can see the circuit diagram inductor filter so first we take the output from the full wave rectifier we this is the output of the full wave rectifier pulsating dc that is given to the l filter inductor filter and output is that one shown in the figure lc or l section filter we can also having another type of filters like this lc this is called as l section so combination of l and c both we are using here so how it is using is the practical filter circuits are derived by combining the voltage stabilizing action of shunt capacitor with the current smoothing action of series choke coil lc choke input filter this is called as a the <coughs> the lc choke input filter is used primarily in power supplies where the voltage regulation is important the output current is relatively high so there we use the lc filter you can see the diagram the filter consists of an input inductor or filter choke and an output filter capacitor inductor l is placed at the input to the filter and is in series with the output of the rectifier circuit since the action of an inductor is to oppose any change in current flow the inductor tends to keep a constant current flowing to the load through the complete cycle of the applied voltage as a result the output voltage never reaches the peak value of the applied voltage instead the output voltage approximates the average value of the rectified input to the filter as shown in the figure the reactance of the inductor reduces the amplitude of ripple voltage without reducing the dc output voltage by an appreciable amount the shunt capacitor ch charges and discharges at the ripple frequency rate but the amplitude of the ripple voltage is relatively small because the inductor tends to keep a constant current flowing from the rectifier circuit to the load in addition the re reactance of the shunt capacitor presents a low impedance to the ripple component existing at the output of the filter and shunt the ripple component around the load the capacitor attempts to hold the output voltage relatively constant at the average value of the voltage the value of the filter capacitor c must be relatively large to present a low opposition to the pulsating current and to store a substantial change so the rate of change of the capacitor is limited by the low impedance of the source smaller resistance of the diode counter electromotive force developed by the coil therefore the rc charge time constant is short compared to its discharge time consequently when the pulsating voltage is first applied to the lc choke input filter the inductor produces a emf which opposes the constantly 
increasing input voltage the result the net result is to effectively prevent the rapid charge of the filter so characteristics of the lc filter you can see refuel factor becomes independent of load less value of inductor can be used better voltage regulation is achieved needs the bleeder resistance disadvantage is the rms value of the current is more larger cost more weight large size of the circuit so the another circuit is the clc or pi filter clc filter another say, capacitor we are using so what happened is here c1 reduces the ripple to a relatively low level l and c2 from the lc filter which reduces the ripple even further very simple way c1 clc filter is having the c1 filter reduces the ripples to a relatively low and l and uh, c2 from the lc filter which reduces the ripple of ripple even further l has a high value of inductance therefore a high value of uh, xl which offers a high reactance to the ripple frequency at the same time c2 offers a very low reactance to the ac ripple so l and c2 for an ac voltage divider and because of the reactance of l much higher than that of c2 most of the ripple voltage is dropped across the l only a slight trace of ripple appears across the c2 and the load so ripple factor using clc filter is root 2 by h omega cube l1 c1 c2 r l r l so this is about the filter this is about the filters of the circuit so now we try to summarize the filter what is the meaning of filter filters are used to remove ripple capacitor and inductors are used individually or in combination as filter elements capacitor filters are connected in shunt with the load capacitor filters improves the average current reduce ripple piv in half wave rectifier is doubled improves the regulation uh, bleeder resistor provides a discharging path when load is not connected ripple factors using inductor filter are l by 3 under root of 2 omega l lc filter 1 by 6 under root of 2 omega square lc clc filter under root 2 by 8 omega cube lc 1 c2 rl the lc filter provides good filtering action over a wide range of current the capacitor filter best when the load is drawing little current so this is about the rectifiers and filter so three different types of rectifier half wave full wave in the full wave we have the center tap rectifier and bridge rectifier after rectification we use the filter in the filter we also discussed about the c filter lt filter and combination of c and l that is lc fi filter and the clc filter thank you